Hey everybody, Drew here for Drew Dat Games and the Drew Dat Podcast, episode number nine. Joining me is my younger brother, Desert Nord. How you doing, bro? Hey there. With that being said, there's only five things to talk about today because there isn't much for gaming news. No major stuff, at least. With the exception of one thing, anyway. So, uh, we'll be talking about Kingdom Hearts going to PC and on what, uh... On what game launcher that's going to be on. Gearbox has been acquired apparently. Which went largely unnoticed. Uh, Bethesda and every developer is uh, going to be uh, known but under a slightly different name for a time being under Microsoft. We'll get into that. Sony is facing a lawsuit over PS5 and the DualSense controller uh, Dual, uh, sticks su- suffering from drift. And Nintendo Direct is happening later on today, and we'll get into that and preview that as well. But before we get into any of the uh, topics and headlines, Desert Nord, what have you been playing lately? Oh, I've just been uh, doing my uh, more more of my mobile apps, and I've been uh, uh, <laughs> plotting my uh, uh, what would you call it return to gaming shortly within the next month or two. Um, Fair enough. Uh, I've largely yeah. just been fidgeting with WWE 2K20 because I hate myself. Yeah. And going through glitches, like uh, I was playing through the female Survivor Series match and the re- and the referee glitched out. He went down to count the 1, 2, 3, but his hand wouldn't go down and then I uh, couldn't uh cancel the pen attempt either so i'm like okay i guess i'm just gonna move on to the next show then fuck this that sounds like a really stupid glitch but okay yeah so yeah well well, keeping in mind that 2k abandoned supporting any updates for 2k20 shortly before uh 2k battlegrounds came out uh last year so yeah because keep in mind that 2K20 came out in 2019, so. Yep. Which means we're long o- we're basically coming due for any information soon about uh, WW 2K22, 21, whatever. But, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, it, it it is what it is. So, uh, yeah, I've been playing... Oh, I also, this morning, finally got around to playing uh, Super Mario 3D World for the Switch, which I thoroughly enjoy. I gotta run that through the rating system still. Yeah, you know, shot of nostalgia. Yeah, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. In a way, it's easier and more difficult than the original Super Mario Brothers game from the original Nintendo at the same time. Because yeah. it's trying to play Super Mario original basically in 3D with like whole new powers and shit. There's now a cat power in the game. Uh-huh. So meow. Anyway. Speaking of uh, uh, the racist bigots uh, at Disney. Kingdom Hearts is uh, now going to be on PC exclusive to the epic game store so i already have it for the xbox one and the ps4 so i don't give a fuck N- nord yeah it's a minor move i mean fans of the series and the game will already be playing it on other platforms and so i i can't see why they would give this much attention either and secondly uh on pc i am ex- I'm an exclusive uh, Steam game player, so fuck Epic Store anyway. Yeah. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit because I already have the game for two consoles, so I don't give a fuck about playing it on PC. And I only play stuff on Steam because I only want one launcher anyway. So you could call that me being loyal to Steam or just being picky. I don't know. And I don't care. Yeah. Speaking of, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know a good segue for this, so I'm just gonna get into it. Speaking of games or game companies, Gearbox has been acquired by Ember Group, 
formerly known as THQ Nordic, for apparently $1.3 billion. However, 2K apparently still owns the Borderlands franchise in spite of this. Yeah. Okay. And apparently through all of this, uh, Gearbox is still going to be working with 2K. So what really happened here? Yeah, it just seemed like a little bit of like an, an inventory sale, kind of like somebody's trying to clear some debt or something. Or like you and I were exchanging just Monopoly money to help the other pay their rent on like mom's yeah, property yeah, or something. Yeah, like some, clearly somebody needed some debt cleared, so they figured they'd toss them a bone, you know, in exchange for some cash. This all, That's what it seems like. This all, this all almost seems like uh, Ember Group and uh, and uh, Take Two are just exchanging money under the table, and uh, Gearbox was one of the was part of the deal. I under the table. I yeah, don't know. And, and by the way, that's probably part of the reason this hasn't gotten a lot of attention is because it almost seems like, <laughs> despite being a billion dollar deal. Uh, it almost seems kind of inconsequential. Yeah. Speaking of inconsequential, apparently Bethesda and every developer from Bethesda Studios, like uh, uh, Arcane and uh, Machine Games and so on and so forth, and Bethesda Game Studios themselves, apparently will be merged into something called Vault. Temporarily, as long as they're under Microsoft as a temporary name for everybody. So, yeah. should we expect, like, uh, games to say Vault instead of Bethesda, like for Starfield or something? I don't know what to make of any of this. This is all confusing as hell to the point where I would go, why, what, who, when, how? type of situation. Yeah, it's, it's a, definitely a confusing scenario. Um, to, to the point where I think I'll just move on because there's nothing to really say here because I'm getting a headache thinking about it right now. Yeah. Speaking of, now this is something we can comprehend here. Sony is facing uh, class action lawsuits over PS5 DualSense controller Drift. Now, what Drift is, for those that don't know, is uh, sometimes your controller will uh, have like a loose stick or something like that, or something will be loose in it. So yeah. even if you're not like pushing on the stick, your player on in your game might be moving. Yep. That's what Drift is called. And there's not really any way to fix it unless, like, there's something in the settings on the system to adjust the controller a little bit, but usually that's not possible. And apparently what is happening with trying to get it fixed is you have to send your DualSense controller for the PS5 into Sony to get fixed. But here's, but here's the conundrum. You will be charged to send the controller for shipping to Sony... But then they will cover the co the coverage of shipping it back to you. But when they're fixing it, they're not really doing anything to it. They're just like metaphorically putting a Band-Aid on it and sending it back. They're not actually fixing the fucking problem. Yep. In, in, in typical Sony fashion, so... Yeah, and they really screwed themselves with the way they do things because, I mean, when you have a design flaw like that, there's nothing you can really do except, hey, would you like another design flaw remote, remote? you know? Yeah, uh, 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 the controllers for the Switch have had that problem, but I don't recall, like, anyone getting charged to have their controllers shipped to Nintendo to get fixed, though. Yeah, the Joy-Con Joy problem was a major problem. Um, now, but I, at least they made efforts to try and remedy it as best as they could. Now, I personally have that problem, but I largely just use my Pro Controller, which has no, like, drift issues that I've had, so... Yeah. The only time I usually use the Joy-Cons is when I'm playing it in handheld mode, for the most part, since I have the Pro Controller anyway, so... Uh -huh. But that's just how I approach it, but yeah... 
Sony uh, just finds another way to fuck up like they usually do. So, to end the show on a positive note, uh, I found out just this morning, in fact, in watching a few things to try to put together, like, the uh, outline for this episode of the podcast, apparently Nintendo is doing a direct, uh, well, when you guys are seeing this Friday, this will have been two days ago, but at the time of recording of the podcast, it being today, so the date being February 17th, at uh, 2 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 p.m. Central Time, and 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that should be somewhere about 3 o'clock your time, right, bro? Yeah. yeah. Or am I wrong on that? Well, I'm an hour later than you, uh, being in mountain during winter in Arizona. Okay, so yeah, so it'll be 3 your time and 4 my time then. Uh, that being this afternoon, so... Yeah. So, but, um, but yeah, the, the content is going to be interesting. I'm actually kind of excited for that. So, I know Nintendo's been sort of leading the charge on interesting content lately. So, we're obviously going to be watching that, and then we'll talk about it next week on next week's episode of the podcast, which we'll film on Wednesday and have up for you guys on Friday of next week. Yeah. But with that being said, all that's left is to basically uh, talk about what we think they're going to do and what we hope they do. So. From uh, my understanding, uh, this is supposed to be largely about mm, probably Super Smash Brothers and more characters coming, obviously. Yeah. But there's also been uh, mentioned uh, potential game announcements too. That 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 I'm actually more interested in because there's a couple. There's one thing in particular that's coming out like in the next month or so. That I really want them to show uh, footage of. And I think you know where I'm going with this, bro. Well, the one thing that jumps to mind for me is Pokemon Snap 2. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Because I have that pre-ordered physically from Target. And uh, that's coming out like next month or something like that. Like in March or something like that, I think. Yeah. So that's getting they, pretty they, close they to this. shouldn't release. underestimate the amount of nostalgia people had for the original game. Yeah, so I want to see like some gameplay of that. Yeah. And I want to see like a pre-order bonus for it too, but that's not really that important. I mostly just want to see like it in action, you know, like a gameplay yeah. demo. But in terms of game announcements, uh. How about reintroducing, if you have anything, for Metro Prime 4? Because that was announced like two or three years ago at the time when E3 was still a thing. Yeah. And and basically the only thing about that was that they were scrapping it and starting over. And they were apologizing for it. That was the only thing about that since. Other than that, uh, how about an announcement of MLB The Show 21 going to the Switch? That that would be damn interesting. Yeah. Considering the Switch is already going to Xbox, or I mean, I mean MLB The Show is going to Xbox. Why did I say the Switch is going to Xbox? <laughs> what the hell, right? <laughs> Well, they are being friendly, so, uh, I, no. Yeah, they'll announce that the Switch is joining with Xbox. <laughs> Nint yeah, Nint sure. Nintendo would never go for that, if you remember. Um, yeah, no, I know. I'm <laughs> um, totally kidding. At the time, around the time of the launch of of the original Xbox, Microsoft wanted to wanted to get into the gaming industry, and they went to Nintendo about buying them. And, and Microsoft got laughed out of the room, which we talked about on a, on an old episode of the podcast that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. But, yeah, the, that was a thing at the time. So, oh, uh, anyway, back to the regularly scheduled information here. Um, yeah, I would like to see MLB The Show being announced for the Switch, considering that MLB wants wants their game on basically all platforms now, which is only a good thing. 
for the sake of getting MLB into everybody's hands because not everyone is going to have every system like I do. Yeah. So having it exclusive to one system only limits it, and the MLB knows that. Something you should think about, NFL. So. But yeah, whatever whatever they're gonna reveal in a little while here, um, I'm quite I'm quite interested to see what all it is because yeah. they usually do pretty well with their Intel Direct uh, uh, pre uh, whatever you want to call them the <laughs> info marshals or whatever. Yeah. I, I don't know how else to put it. I guess it's just a uh, like a presentation for lack of a better word. Well. We'll see, I guess. Yeah. But I, I, I've seen previous Nintendo Direct presentations, and and they're usually quite um, minus the commentary, of course, because I don't ever, I don't ever give a shit about the commentary they have in these <laughs> uh, presentations. I just care about what's being shown. Young Yeah has a video talking about scalpers play the victim and say they don't deserve bad press. Oh, really? So you don't yeah, deserve. I'm just gonna go ahead and hard no on that. I'm I'm gonna go a little further than a hard no. I'm gonna go to this. I'm gonna go this far. Scalpers deserve as much bad press, in my opinion, as Disney and Lucasfilm do right now. Yeah, about as much. Yeah. I I can't. I don't see the difference between. Uh, I mean. You didn't produce the product, guys. Do I need to explain that to you people? Like, you're not retailers. You're not selling it for a fair price. You're taking a product you bought as a customer and selling it to some other poor schmo who's also a customer and walking away with free money you didn't fucking earn. That's what you're doing. Yeah. Talk to me about morals. I mean, yeah, right, guys. You do deserve bad press, and you should stop, and you're screwing up the industry, and you know it. That's, scalpers should be ashamed. I just thought of something else that would be good for Nintendo to announce at this Direct today. Uh, you, we, well, if, if you own a Switch, then you already know this, that if you subscribe to Nintendo Switch Online, you get access to play, uh, a number of games from the original Nintendo and the Super Nintendo, right? Yeah. Well, announcing N64 going to uh, be a part of that, and a bunch of N64 games, that would be really damn nice. So, therefore, yeah. getting the chance... And I know that they wouldn't put this game in it, because wow. it's still currently available for, like, another... a few more weeks or so to purchase, but... Um, uh, Mario 64. Yeah. Because it's still available in the Mario 3D, uh, package thingamajig with Sunshine and, ga and Galaxies. Uh -huh. But it is what it is. But still, that would be nice to have. Or, you could bypass the N64 for now and give us the GameCube. And a bunch of games for that. Just, just say Nintendo. Just throwing ideas at you. Things that we kind of yeah. want, you know? Because if you want to yeah. make, like, your service, like, valuable without a party chat... By the way, I know it's party chat. That'd be nice. Yeah. Enemy proper on-system party chat, but... <laughs> I'll just go out on the limb and say this, bro. I don't think there's going to be anything earth-shatteringly major in their presentation. Just a lot of, you know, small to medium things. Well, we'll see, because we got... Mm, about 11, it's almost noon, so we got like three or four hours before it starts, so... Yeah. Give or take. But still, it'll be damn interesting to watch. It makes today interesting, though. Yeah, I agree with that. Only thing that would be more interesting than watching a, a Nintendo Direct would be getting like a surprise like Microsoft like event to watch. <laughs> yeah. 
only in that uh, considering that we basically understand at this point that it ain't worth getting a next-gen system ps5 or xbox series console because basically just about everything is on next is on sorry current gen hardware now yeah one thing that does bother me about other people on YouTube and whatnot, when they talk about current gen, they're talking about PS5 and the Xbox Series X. That's not current gen, yeah. guys. Current gen is what's widely available for purchase right now. For sure, everybody. Once, once there's 50 plus million people who own Xbox uh, you know, Series X, it's going to be the same thing on PS5. Then we can say, okay, now it's current gen. Yeah, then I'm willing to say that, but when it's only like... 5 million people, maybe at the most, 7 million, yeah. 10 million. Uh, you, you guys do know that the Xbox Series X is largely, give or take, around 70 million, right? Yeah, far less than 1% of the gaming community actually gets to own one right now. Yeah. And then there's the fact that the PS4 has over 100 fucking million. Anyway. Yeah. There's that, too. And the fact that uh, <laughs> the Nintendo Switch even has more than Next Gen 2, anyway. But then again, that's not hard to do. It's it's Nintendo. Everyone wants one. They regularly get sold out, and then unlike the uh, Next Gen systems from Sony and Microsoft, actually get shipments in regularly. Go figure. The important thing that needs to happen is People need to stop feeding the scalpers. Yeah. Stop relenting and saying, sure, I'll buy the, you know, that for fifteen hundred dollars or whatever. And then you will have to pay to go get your controller potentially fixed if you spent fifteen hundred for a PS5. Think about that for a minute, guys. On top of your seventy dollar games for your yeah. for your PS5. Something else to think about. Yeah, yeah and uh, you should uh, check your ears, because I think they might have elongated at that point. You might start braying, actually. Yeah. Yeah, because you're a donkey. <laughs> uh, they're more than just a donkey. They're a fucking sheep. Yeah, yeah, well, the sheep are afraid. This one's just dumb. <laughs> In a herd of sheep, Tom McDonald is a goat. Nah. Anyway. Just wanted to throw that joke out there because I needed to. Anyway. There's nothing else to really discuss uh, other than uh, what were your uh, actual predictions, legit predictions that might be actually feasible for, for the Nintendo Direct uh, this afternoon? I, I didn't have anything I just figured it'd be, um, you know, not horrendously huge. My legit predictions, not going overly big or out there, are uh, gameplay for Pokemon Snap. Uh, I don't know if it was announced or if it's rumored, but I heard something about uh, a Minecraft character going to Super Smash Brothers. Yeah. Which wouldn't surprise me given the relationship between Microsoft and and Nintendo. So I'm thinking that they'll probably announce the release date for the, the Minecraft character for uh, for Smash. And, uh, oh, hey, I forgot. I got a creeper on my, uh, on my uh, <laughs> computer here. I forgot I had this guy, and he's right in front of me. Yeah. So, I wonder if you could play as Steven Smash and or a Creeper. That would be interesting. Yeah. But, but probably not so much a Creeper, because all you're going to do is walk up and explode at people, right? Yeah, you'd think, yeah. <laughs> but in any way, uh, in terms of actual games, God only knows, because I don't know what yeah, well, Nintendo has in mind. Anything major that they could do, uh, a, 
or a, a, a release date for Breath of the Wild 2? I, I don't know. That would be something major, I think, right? Yeah. Because Minecraft is already on Switch. Um, what else would Microsoft have that they would uh, allow to go over there? What was that, bro? Uh, what, what else does Microsoft have that they would potentially allow to go to the Switch then? No, not a lot. Because um, we know I mean, that Halo isn't going to. They feel like they need the money, you know what I mean? I, I don't, I can't name mm. anything offhand that I would imagine just instantly or easily going to the Switch. Mm. Hmm. This would be completely out of left field from like. 10 years ago type of left field if like suddenly just randomly we heard that sunset overdrive were going on switch it ain't gonna happen but that would be something you're like wait what uh but the company that made that is now with sony how is this never mind yeah type of type of situation if sunset overdrive went over or crossed over, I should say. Because we know Gears isn't going to, either. No. <laughs> uh, what if what if CD Projekt Red were, Red were dumb enough to announce Cyberpunk for the Switch at this point? Oh, God. Yeah, please, no. <laughs> Oh, that, that would just be like, okay, thank you for making me laugh. I needed this. They're gonna have to rename it Bag of Garbage Edition. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not that the original edition wasn't kind of a bag of garbage anyway, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. Either way. <laughs> Um, yeah, we yeah. should probably just wrap up at this point. Yeah, so with that said, uh, what are you going to be uh, playing or watching after this? Other than the, uh, later on this afternoon, the uh, the, the Nintendo Direct thing. Well, it's uh, probably just my uh, I'm a township or guy i got to get back to. Um, but uh, I do want to mention there is a Pokemon Go event on the 20th. Um, which is the Kanto event, which has been hyped for quite a few months now. Um, so and that's, will be quite interesting. Excuse me, so that's Saturday, right? Yep, that's uh, Saturday. Okay. Yeah. And it's going to be a massive bunch of content that's going to, I guess you, we'll just say unlocked <laughs> on the app. Yeah, after this, I'm going to be checking out Outside Xbox's uh, Joke Boat uh, stream in which they're playing just... But it is. Uh, I just uh, want to say, but it is an event you have to pay for stuff. Uh, to take part in. So, it's a buy-in event, we'll say. And then at some point, I'm going to check out Quizzlemania from uh, Parts of Unknown, too. Yeah. As well, because that's every other Wednesday, and that's this Wednesday now, apparently. Oh, and I gotta catch up on uh, on uh, Steve Croner stuff too. Yeah. Because I recently just uh, started watching uh, Louder with Croner, so. Uh -huh. And I do find uh, that interesting and entertaining and very informative, so. Yeah. Otherwise, playing, I'm probably at some point, uh, if I get through that stuff while still waiting for Nintendo, I'll probably just boot up uh, Super Mario 3D World again and just keep playing that till, till the Nintendo thing starts. Yeah. Or torture myself some more with more WWE. Uh, 2K. Yeah, 
I'm sure you have no shortage of games. Yeah, I got it. Tons of shit I still got to get through, too. Yeah. There's Valhalla, which I'm contemplating just playing off stream from now on. Oh, there's an update to something. No Man's Sky's got an update. Well, I guess I'll update that right now. Otherwise, the next time I'm going to be streaming anything is going to be on Twitch, and it's going to be, uh, try to get back to the thing. Uh, yeah. Lost Planet 2 from the Xbox 360, because that's in Games with Gold, although on uh, Friday, actually, I'm thinking about doing Lost Planet before Friday, and then just porting it over as a free-to-play Friday to air on Friday. But for the PS4, I got two games to do on Friday, and, and that's the two instant game collection games. Because I don't want to be scrambling to do stuff the last Friday of the month, assuming that that there yeah. is another Friday in the month. So there's still three games left, so. Lost Planet uh, and the two from PlayStation, so. Yeah. So that's what I got I'm up to. And then I do want to get back through the original Mass Effect trilogy for the achievements that I don't have for them. Uh, and as it turns out, the good Mass Effect trilogy, by the way. Yeah. Because a quick update to uh, you guys uh, based on recent happenings on the channel. Apparently... Uh, the last episode of the gaming podcast has been getting attention. Because it's now yeah. at five views and has gotten comments from other people like, yeah, I haven't cared about Bioware since before uh, Dragon Age 2 came out. Yeah. And I couldn't agree more. And... Uh, Four people have actually watched the Drew Dat podcast from last week. Oh, that was episode six. Okay, fair enough. But either way, with that being said, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. That's what we're going to be up to, watching Nintendo Direct. I'm going to be watching some other stuff i got to catch up on, and then playing some Super Mario 3D World, which I did unbox on the channel uh, five days ago, which is at 19 views right now, and went and... And I should have said, and I should have said this at the end of the Judah podcast uh, that we filmed earlier, but I'll say it now. When my copies of uh, the two albums from Tom McDonald and and the teacher come, I will unbox those on the channel when they come. So you guys can enjoy me uh, going through seeing that and getting the signed albums from him when they when they get shipped and delivered and all that. So with that being said, thank you for tuning in. Hit the like, subscribe to the channel. Go check out Judak Games for me playing the free-to-play games for Free-to-Play Friday. I wish somebody wasn't vacuuming in the hallway right now. And uh, you can catch me over on Twitch playing the Xbox games over there and, and occasionally some PlayStation stuff that I don't want to stream on YouTube. And come follow me on Twitter as as that underscore Drew. You can find me on MeWe as well as Drew Dat Games, even though I haven't looked at that in a while. Um, and you, well, you guys know about this channel. You're here right now, so. I think that's all I got. You can follow Desert Nord on MeWe as, as what? Yeah, it's just my name. Okay. Well, I just wanted to, <laughs> in case anybody new was around, because there has been a recent new sub to the channel. So. Yeah. So, so the recent new sub to the channel. Thank you for subscribing and hit the bell for notif for notifications. Y you know who you are, because I don't know your name. With that said, see you guys next time. Good day, good night, and good afternoon. Later.